Hey guys, this is Paulina and in this grammar video we're going to learn how to use the conditionals. Let's take a closer look at the different conditional structures. The simple conditional structures are zero, first, second and third. In this video we will answer two questions. When do we use conditional structures? And how do we form sentences in these structures? So, let's have a look at this beautiful table. We use zero conditional to talk about things that are generally true, to talk about the result of a situation or action. We use the first conditional to describe possible future work situations and to give instructions or advice. We use second conditional in the present or future and to make suggestions or give advice. If I were you, I would take notes. And we use the third conditional for hypothetical situations in the past, for regrets about the past. Okay? So, look at the uses and match the examples. If you would like to think about it, pause the video because I'm going to show you the answers now. So, when do we use the conditionals? Remember that you can also replace if with when here. For example, if you travel abroad you need a passport or when you travel abroad you need a passport. Why can you replace if with when? Well, because we talk about things that are generally true. So, we use the zero conditional to talk about things that are generally true. With first conditionals, we can use unless to mean if not. Unless equals if not. So, if you don't study, you will fail. Unless you study, you'll fail. For advice and instructions, we use an imperative in the result clause. Look. If you're tired, go home. And this is always with if I were you. So if you want to make a suggestion or give advice, use if I were you. This looks really nice in your letters on emails when you give advice. So, how do we make sentences in the conditional structures? Look at the example for zero conditional. If or when with present simple, comma, present simple. Now try to work out the structures for the other three conditionals. Pause the video if you want to think about it, because I'm going to show you the answers now. In the first conditional, we use if or unless with present simple or continuous and will want might might not or imperative. In the second conditional we use if past simple comma would could might plus infinitive. And in the third conditional we use if past perfect comma would have and past participle. The result clause can go first but then you don't use a comma. Look, if you travel abroad, comma, you need a passport. You need a passport if you travel abroad. No commas here. The infinitive is used for giving instructions or advice. Might, might not is to express possibility here, all right? With the verb to be in the second conditional, it's more common to use if 
I, he, she, it were rather than if I, he, she, it was. If we use was, it's considered to be informal. All right? And we commonly use construct uh, contractions in these structures. So you, we use I'll, I'd, she'd. All right? So don't be afraid to use short forms. So, let's practice. In this activity, we need to rewrite the sentences using the words in bold at the end of each line. See? So this word is for this line. All right? So, it is possible for me to win the race. I just need to train a lot. So, I might win the race if I train a lot. Or if I train a lot, I might win the race. Remember, if we start with if, we need a comma in the middle. If we start with the, uh, the other clause, the result clause, then we don't have to use a comma. So pause this video now if you would like to think about these uh, sentences and I'm going to show you the answers now. If I hadn't got home late, I wouldn't have argued with my parents. This is clearly a regret, as you see, about the past. There is a possibility of you visiting next month. So if you visit next month, call me. It's a fact. For facts we use zero conditional, so if you eat healthily and do exercise, you keep fit. And you should, ooh, that's advice. So, if I were you, I'd write her a letter to apologize. And that's everything for today. But remember, with any of the conditionals, the result clause can come before the if hypothetical, but there shouldn't be a comma. Yeah, I said it in the first sentence, here it's just repeated. I might win the rain. Uh, I might win the race if I train a lot. Yeah. And now that's really everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class. Bye.